on this project, um, the values are going to be uh, for scrolling from left to right. So here, a new project. I'm just going to name it side scroll. All right. We don't have to change this right now. It's actually uh, you probably will um, because it's an easier step. But I want to show you if you just do a new project, um, how to edit it afterwards. So I'm going to say create. So we have two parts here. We have the viewport, which is this dotted line, and we have the entire layout, which is this um, uh, big white area right here with a border. So um, you can see over here we have our display, which is the viewport, and that's only 854 by 480. Um, for this video, we want it to match the layout. So to get to the layout, I'm just going to click off. Um, of, I'm going to click off in this gray area and I can see that hey the size of the layout is 1708 by 960 so just copy that go to properties and then paste that into the viewport size now you can see that dotted line has disappeared because this entire thing is the dotted line alright so the next step uh, I'm just I need uh, to create two backgrounds um, so I'm going to insert an object a sprite and call it um, BG for background we will just change the size of this sprite to be exactly what um, we have for the layout 1708 by 960. Okay. And I will fill that with, let's say red, but I want to put like a, a dot on here so I can tell if it's moving or not. So I'll put a dot kind of in the middle. All right. Oh, the other thing that we need to do, let me go back to the editor. We need to change the point of origin from being in the dead center, and we can come up here at the X and Y value and change that both to zero so that we have the point of origin at the top left. It's really important. Now we can come over here for in the properties panel and set the position to zero, comma, zero. And now we have a pixel perfect background. What I want to do is take a second background and I'll hold control and click and pull, and pull it out. And over here, we want to set this to 1708, comma, 0. So we have two backgrounds here. Now, if I play it, nothing's going to happen. You're just going to see the background. So let's go to our event sheet. Now, what we want to do, um, first of all, is we want to create a global variable. So I'm going to right-click on here and say add global variable. This is a variable that uh, any um, it, it affects all the different events um, it, in the entire game. And so what I want to do is just call it um, BG speed, BG underscore speed. And we'll set the initial value to something like 150. All right, so if we want to change the speed of the background, we just need to change it um, here, and that will help us out. All right, the next thing I want to do is add an event. Now, um, in this event, we're going to do the system and say every tick, so every frame of the game, we want the background to do something. Well, we're moving the X value in this, so we want to set X. And so we're going to do this with an algorithm. So we don't want it to set... Um, just once we want it to be a continuous movement so what we're gonna have to do is we're going to uh, put the uh, background so BG and then put a, a, a period BG dot X so we're gonna look for the X value of the background that's what that says and then we're going to subtract the background speed that global variable that we just made multiplied by DT which stands for delta time and that helps us keep time for our frames um, and doesn't get behind it's not on start of the layout um, so I'm going to click done there and the next thing I need for this to work is I need after so what that first line of code did it's going to move this background one step every frame it's going to move to the left alright so I'm going to press play you're going to see that See the little dot that shows that we're moving to the left and we've got this dot over here we're still moving to the left that's the second layout and then by the time this gets all the way off the screen or it's not all the way off because we put it in the middle but now we have a third layout here or background excuse me and it's not it's not the red background what we have to do is put the first background all the way back over to the end when it gets far enough so to do that in our event sheet I'm going to add an event, 
and I'm going to add an event for the background, and I'm going to say uh, compare the x value. So if the x value here is equal to or less, excuse me, uh, less than or equal to negative 1708, so once it fully gets all the way to the other side because it's uh, 17, it's 1708 pixels um, in length, uh, once it gets to that spot, it's going to immediately set it back. So I've got this value here. And then what's the action that I want to do? I want to take that background and move it. So I'm going to set the X value back to its original position, which we're going to do um, the background.x. So where it's at plus... 300 or excuse me 3416 now why did we use this value where did that number come from well that is double the length of the background so if you had an 800 pixel um, background for your x value you decided to change it then this would read 1600 instead all right so we're going to click done and i'm going to play it and let's see if it works so there's one and if another little black dot pops up here in the red, we know we've done it right. There we go. So this will uh, scroll from right to left endlessly. Now let's talk about a variation. Now let's say I wanted it to be um, on the y-axis. Well, you would just take all of these things and all of these numbers and change it to the y-axis. So on this one, Instead of set X, I could say set Y. And on this one, instead of set X, let me take it back to set the Y. Okay, and our numbers will be off. All right, so let's go back to the layout and get the numbers. If we wanted to go up and down, I would take and I would move this to where the uh, X position is zero and the Y position is 960. Okay, that's going to put it right underneath. So we're going to have it moving up. So then the next thing that we have to do uh, with this 960 value, you have to. I'm just going to copy this so that I can remember it. The 960, because that's our Y value. So I go back to the event sheet and I change this from plus. Uh, 340 so we got 960 so that would be uh, 1920 so 1920 would be the double of that and it wouldn't be background X it would be background Y and up here would also be background dot Y all right and let's see if we did that correctly and we have this dot moving up And we did not reset it correctly, so let's go ahead and stop this preview. All right, so we have to make sure that this is the Y value, and we're looking at Y if it is less than or equal to negative 960. So once that uh, background uh, goes far enough to where it's completely out of the viewport, uh, it will reset. So we're going to add uh, 1920, and the reason for that is it's double this value. Right, so 1920 is double 960. Everything matches Y, 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 and Y. So let's look at the preview. So you see that first dot already went off the screen. Here's our second dot traveling off the screen, third dot, and so this will continue on into infinity. Now, if you want to reverse the direction, however, your art is, you would just change these values here um, from. You know, if it was a negative, you change it to a positive. Um, and if we uh, added on this algorithm, you would subtract. Uh, so that's all for this video.